interesting people. Today my guest, Master of Acupuncture, Cynthia Gallant. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And the previous video we were watching uh, were you, not acupuncturist, <laughs> you there were a Taekwondo uh, master. Um, I have a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. Um, I practiced at Boston University. Um, uh, Mass Collegiate is the organization, but it was at, at Boston University. And um, I traveled uh, uh, nationally um, to compete for United States um, in forms and board breaking um, in Taekwondo. So I got a couple of uh, US national gold medals in Taekwondo forms and silver in board breaking. Wow. So, and the music we will hear in the background, that's the flute you're playing, the famous piece called the loom. Loom, correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, in that piece, I basically took the sound of the loon and I transposed it with like regular uh, flute melodies with it. Oh, so it's so, improvisation. So, yeah, so it's my my um, interpretation of what a loon would sound like mm. with using my flute. And that made internet radio. I'm on Slacker Premium and then I'm also on CD Baby. And, um, and it was just kind of a fun thing, fun creative thing to do. Yes, uh, so if we will have time, we can hear uh, here in the studio. But for now, we will be talking mostly about what you're doing at the moment. We have your website um, on our screen. So the people who will be interested for this amazing <laughs> service, I can admit it. Um, so we, Cynthia brought today some toys <clears throat> she will be talking about, and um, I will be her patient, <clears throat> excuse me, just right here. So we will be showing the, some demo and, and she will be talking about the history of acupuncture. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, her background is tremendous. Like I, the more I was reading your bio from your website, <laughs> the more my jaw was dropping. So I said, okay, everyone wants to experience that, they can read it. Yeah. So um, yeah, and um, so they will know that you're a private practice open in Lexington on Mass Ave. It, it's very easy to come from Arlington or any other places. Um, so the appointments they can do right through the website. So mm -hmm. it's every all the information is there. Mm -hmm. So and now we will be talking about all these toys you have around here. I even took took off my um, watch and ring because you said you know I'm not supposed to have for certain <laughs> treatment a metal on my body. Right. Yeah. So we're going to do a little demonstration today and um, what I kind of do in my um, clinic is I do a little bit of electroacupuncture, I do a little bit of manual therapy, I do a little bit of cupping therapy, um, which most people have seen with the famous Michael Phelps, the swimmer, who mm -hmm. um, has uh, cupping on a regular basis for repetitive stress syndrome from you know repetitive swimming right. and um, you get stiff a little bit and he wants to stay nice and loose and mm. the um, cupping helps relax the muscles get the lymphatic flow moving also more blood circulating um, into the muscles and it's a really good stress relief um, and it's a nice combination also with acupuncture acupuncture mm -hmm. so it's a form of like you know releasing the muscles releasing um, like the fascia also that get can get tight and restrict your your ability to move properly um, plus so, you do in a massage also. and I also do cupping massage as well which is also really nice and um, but majority of my patients love the combinations that I do so sometimes I'll do like a combination of acupuncture on the front of the body and then the back I'll do like a massage or the cupping massage and I always get, get wonderful feedback from my patients. Mm -hmm. um, and so. And one of them. Yeah, one of them. <laughs> and I also even go with a little bit of sound therapy. So I use some tuning forks. I can put this on the acupuncture point. So we'll talk a little bit about acupuncture. This is some of the tools that I have um, right now that I use during um, clinic. And of course, the acupuncture needles. Um, so uh, let's get a little bit into the history of acupuncture. Um, acupuncture is more than 2,000 years old. It comes from China, um, but other uh, cultures also kind of adopted acupuncture but made um, some of the, the theories um, a little bit different, like in Japan and Korea. They, have, they also use acupuncture, but there's different um, styles that they utilize it with. Um, and so when I, I use these particular needles, so these needles will um, be inserted into the skin 
in a particular acupuncture point. And um, so why, so just kind of like talking a little bit about the clinical benefits, like also um, when you put the needle in, there's acupuncture points that run along a channel, or we call them meridians that go into your internal organs. So what we're doing is we're putting the needle in to unblock the energy or chi flow. Um, it's similar to like when you're driving um, down the street and all of a sudden there's a, your car gets stuck, there's a traffic jam. You, you can um, insert you know, the needle at a particular point and unblock that flow so then um, the cars can move freely or your chi can move freely, the um, blood will move more freely in the area. So um, some clinical medical benefits of acupuncture is that it can dilate um, blood vessels. It can also um, uh, help release endorphins in your bloodstream. The signal goes to the central nervous system in the brain and then causes your whole body to relax. So people use it for um, anxiety. Um, and then it blocks um, the pain receptors of the site where you put the needle. So it has a little bit of an analgesic effect, which people like too, especially for chronic pain management for like back pain, arthritis, and all of that stuff. So um, I also used it to break up connective tissue um, for C-sections, for scars, to help smooth scars out, because um, I can unwind the connective tissue. Um, and then um, as far as other um, clini clinical benefits, you just you know realize that you, that, um, you feel much better you know, after the treatment, it basically helps the body reach this homeostasis or this balance um, that everybody you know is looking for and it's a nice complementary medicine to western medicine plus you're doing like scanning when the patient I come in scan, you do yeah. the scanning of the body so first. so like a typical um treatment would be like i would I would go through a person's health history in the first like tw 20 to 30 minutes, you know, and what they, what their main main issue is and what I'd like, and then I would go and feel the radial pulse. So I I would look not just at the at the it's the like rate. Pulse diagnostic. It's a pulse. It is a pulse diagnostic testing and assessment, and then um, and it's it's a little bit different than Western medicine versus Eastern medicine. Western medicine, you're looking, you know, just at the rate and how fast the the heart rate is going. But in Eastern medicine, we're looking at the quality. What does it feel like? The organs are superimposed on the pulse, and we're getting more information um, so on three the pulse. on one right. hand and three and there organs is, on the other. Exactly, and there is some cross comparison with the pulse. So, for example, I was fe feeling a pulse in this woman um, at Tufts Medical Center in the hospital, and I'm like, I don't feel your spleen pulse organ. Mm -hmm, She's like, mm -hmm. I don't have a spleen. And I was like, oh, wow. So there is some crossover yes. between Eastern and Western medicine in the, in the um, pulse diagnosis. Right. Um, I also sometimes look at the tongue because the organs are also superimposed on the tongue. Yeah. And I also look at the abdomen and, uh, and I check for reflex um, pressure pain in the abdomen that are also superimposed in the organs. Plus you're talking about the diet also. And also the diet. Yep. The so talks I make in the body. Talks in the body and also make recommendations. Um, yeah, to visit for, the professionals. <laughs> you have to, vi yep, for, to visit the professionals as well as like um, maybe do a little detail detox it depends on what's going on with the person um, I do also energetically scan the body because I have a little bit of background in um, medical qigong mm -hmm. um, so I was certified in um, Kripalu, um yoga center uh, for medical qigong and I've also had um, medical qigong from other masters from China um, so I kind of take in different levels of the body so there's the emotional there's the physical there is the um, energetic, you know, there's the organ. So it, I take in ver like information from more levels because I have a multidisciplinary approach. So to we were saying how often people can use the acupuncture. So oh. it depends for chronic conditions. I would want to see them in sooner. So right. like maybe well, once a week, like more like once a week. Um, if it's not so bad and you're coming in for maintenance, it's similar to like getting your oil change or a tune-up. Right, you right. know, you might want to come in once a month, you right. know, if there's not a lot of issues that are going on. But again, if you have more chronic issues like chronic back pain, chronic mm -hmm. knee pain, that you want to come in a little bit more frequently. Mm -hmm. And I tend to see shifts um, in treatments like every um, two to three sessions. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see a shift where the person will all, all of a sudden like will get better or sometimes they'll get better immediately depending upon if their condition is acute or 
chronic. If it's chronic, you'll see the shifts in the patient getting better later. So they may need to come in for like 10 sessions or something like that right. instead of like, you know, two or three or once a month or versus, you know, um, once a week. So it, it just depends. And it's very on beneficial the for the nerve system. Yes, but it, very beneficial for the nerve system. So I also do auricular acupuncture on the ear. So I use these little, like these are little, like um, they're called press needles. Mm -hmm. And they're about 0.1 millimeter width. They're very, very tiny. They're like hairline thin. Mm -hmm. And I leave them in the ear mm -hmm. on a particular um, area. area on the ear that can relate to your internal organs. It can relate to your endocrine system. It can relate to orthopedic um, if, the, if you have like shoulder pain or hip pain, I could mm -hmm. put a point there right. and leave it in for a week. And if it gets itchy, obviously you would take it out because that would be a sign of like inflammation. Mm -hmm. So if it bothers you, you would just peel it off and then throw it out. But like in that. general, uh, when you get getting better, your organ getting better, that should be just falling off itself, right? Yeah. So, um, so basically, if you're getting better, when you go to press the point, it's mm. less sensitive. Mm. So you start to notice that the body is the energy is coming up to the surface that it's kind of like you're starting to heal more, you're having more energy. Um, the main thing I see with a lot of patients is they right now they're not getting enough sleep and that's affecting their pain, pain levels in their body. So it's really important to get sleep, it's really important to exercise, you right. know, get your blood circulating. Um, so and of course, all of those healthy things eating. and healthy eating, exactly. You Drink know? lots of water. <laughs> Drinking, yeah, exactly. Pure water. Yeah. Hopefully. So um, I would like to do a demonstration. Anything sure. that is bothering you right now? Well, let's do right here. I mentioned this. Uh, okay. Some was last night. Some little pain. Okay, great. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put a needle like right here, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna do here. So this point is Hegu. This is large intestine four. This is the number one pain point in the body. Body. I've also used this in the hospitals at Tufts Medical Center. Mm -hmm. um, and then also, um, um, this is large intestine 11. This is also immune point, but also clears heat. So if you feel like kind of hot in the um, upper part of your body, mm -hmm. like if you get headaches or if you mm -hmm. tend to have a little bit of hot flash, this is a really nice point to do. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also really good for your immune system as well. Okay. So I'm gonna um, grab some uh, alcohol swabs. I'm gonna clean my hands first. I'm gonna grab this. So in how long the needles will need to stay? So generally to have a therapeutic effect, it's anywhere between like 20 to 30 minutes, um, depending upon the age of the person. Sometimes like if they're younger and they, and, and they don't have a lot of fluid retention in their body um, and they don't have a, a lot of like pain in their body, it can actually, um, get better but I also like go back for feedback I retest the the pulse in the abdomen mm. to look and see how the patient is responding and that's their prognosis if they mm -hmm. start to if the pain starts pressure pain starts clearing out mm -hmm. easier uh, or faster then I know their prognosis is pretty good and okay. then I'll feel in the pulse if the pulse gets a little stronger in the particular position that I'm working mm. on then I know that the the person is reaching homeostasis faster or mm. equilibrium faster okay so I'm gonna go here and here so it just basically alcohol mm -hmm. the point off let it dry a little bit okay mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna add um, the acupuncture needle this is about a 32 gauge needle and um, and then it's also um, it's about an inch long so it's very it's tiny and it's still kind of like hairline thin you can barely mm -hmm. see this so I take the the needle and putting in the guide tube mm -hmm. and then I'm just basically creating a little circle here um, with my hand and then I'm just tapping in the needle and then what I'm doing is I'm just gonna rotate a little bit just to stimulate the point to bring the chi or energy up to the surface. And this also at the same time, I'm causing a little bit of a mechanical transduction. This is kind of like signaling to um, the, the, um, the fascia underneath. And this is, um, the fascia is also um, in the muscles connected to you know, the vascular system, the vascular system starts to dilate. And then, mm -hmm. um, and then this also is sending energy and um, fl uh, flow from the top part and towards the bottom part as well. Mm. So I'm gonna connect this large intestine point with this uh, 11 with large intestine four. So this is between the, th this is the marginal web between the, the thumb and the index finger. So I'm just gonna kind of feel, uh, massage the point a little bit. This helps relax the muscle before you put the needle in. 
and then I'm just gonna kind of tap it in again okay well how are you feeling oh uh, it's something moving something moving <laughs> oh wow yeah. so sometimes like patients will will um, give me some feedback as far as like what the the acupuncture feels like sometimes you feel like a heaviness sometimes you feel like um, water moving from so one point to the other. So can I move my arm? Like, yeah, you can move it. Just okay. you know, just be careful like a little bit. Yep, you can just rest okay. it on your mm -hmm. arm. Um, and um, sometimes people feel like this tingling sensation. Sometimes they feel like warmth going down their arm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and now we're going to do, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of electro. So I like to use electro if, if there's if there's more pain that mm -hmm. the person is experiencing and also some fluid retention. So I feel warm right here in the bottom. Oh, that's good. Okay, mm -hmm. so you, you're getting um, some flow. Uh, flow and sensation from the acupuncture needles. So this is very good. So, um, so she said that the pain was closer to this side. Yeah. So I have a, um, these are two leads hooked up to an electrical um, unit. So mm -hmm. this is, um, this is um, positive and negative. So where the, the pain is, I'm going to put the uh, the negative lead, and then I'm going to put the positive lead here. Okay. And then because, oops, and then you got to make sure that the teeth are on the end of the needle there, and then that stays perfect. Okay, so now she's hooked up to the leads. I'm going to turn on the acupuncture unit. So right now I'm going to do its... Um, there's a, a frequency that I'm gonna use on, on Alina that is um, um, high intensity and low frequency, and I'm using a dense disperse. So this just means that the, um, the sound of the, electri uh, the, the feeling of the electricity that she's gonna feel is gonna kind of be intermittent signaling of the frequency. So it's gonna be like da, 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 instead of a continuous, which is like da, and that's what that's what the, um, so the, the rhythm sensation. Change. That's the, the rhythm. rhythm. So that's the rhythm of the frequency that I'm using. So, so right now I, I have it as dense disperse, and then I'm gonna slowly turn on the lead. So she's hooked up to the first lead. I'm gonna slowly turn it on, and then she's gonna feel a little bit of tingling sensation. I'm gonna go slow, so it's not shocking to her. Mm. And then you should start to feel a little tingling. Something. Okay. Come on now. Is it too strong? Okay. It's a little pressure, I feel it. Uh huh. So it's just uh, extra help. Yeah, so it, it's basically, um, um, there's, there's uh, uh, the body, the, the points have a electrical resistance, um, and that's where you can kind of find the point. There's a difference in electrical um, receptivity on the skin, and what it, the electricity is pushing from, um, from the, uh, the leads going into the skin, and then it helps clear the channel. So it's kind of cool. Are you, are you feeling anything? I'm feeling the bottom a little bit. Okay. And a so, little bit on the top too. Okay. Good. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we just let it sit for like maybe 10, 15 minutes. And um, so this is electrical acupuncture stimulation. Um, and thank you for uh, Elena being my wonderful demonstration. Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, I'm going to your office um, and I need to say to the people who really wants to improve their health, mm -hmm. they should be sign up for their sessions. Mm -hmm. And I'm using the combination of acupuncture and massage. Mm -hmm. And I found out that it's very beneficial when you are um, rotating mm -hmm. um, at least twice a month. And I'm um, thinking that I will continue that till the end of the year, just to make sure that um, my health is getting better, um, so everything is improving. Um, and just in general, I would recommend people, um, just like you mentioned, tune up uh, maybe twice a year minimum. Come and just check the situation with your body. Even if you feel that you are generally healthy, 
um, still something need to be yeah, improved mm -hmm. or it can mm -hmm. be improved anyway. Mm -hmm. So, okay. yeah, and so you know how to find Cynthia. Her uh, website um, will be shown on the screen. And so we um, wishing everybody healthy and um, happy summer and the end of the year. So, and hopefully um, the people who likes it, uh, our interview and demo, they will come to experience personally. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm greatly appreciated for you to come and show all your talents. Mm -hmm. So this one is a top, as I feel a little bit better, maybe because it's fallen down in this direction. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna turn it off now. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just gonna turn this like this. I'll shut it off here. Oh, okay. And then I'm just gonna take the leads off now. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's Phil. Oh, it's okay. I'll get that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the other thing that I also do is I also do, um, this is for people that uh, don't like acupuncture and mm. that still want to get some clinical benefits. Mm. Um, I use a little bit, this is like a tuning fork. I also use yeah. this on acupuncture points. Right. And I kind of like tap it and then I, then I go around and I just find like spots that are a little bit tight mm. in through here. Okay, so you have a little bit mm. tightness right there. So I would say that you do some typing or you use your hands a lot. Mm. <laughs> so this is like the extensors can get a little tight from typing. Mm. So I feel like some tissue, just holding this here, I can feel it, the tissue underneath Plain is piano. tight. Yeah, there you go. Yep, I yes. just picked up on that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so they can use that. And, and then I have other forms of manual therapy. therapy. I mm. use this on connective tissue. This is kind of like an onyx tool. Mm -hmm. I use this on the neck and the connective tissue. And this mm. is very gentle. Mm. Um, I also do a lot of TMJ work um, with acupuncture and a little bit of manual. I've also been uh, trained in some craniosacral therapy and um, so that's sort of some of the things that I use. I also check um, people's oxygen levels when they come in as well. So I have a um, pulse oximeter um, and make sure that they're they're coming in healthy before I treat them. And um, yeah, so that's kind of a little bit about, you know, what, what, um, what you're doing. What I'm doing, yes. So uh, hopefully the people enjoy to listen yes. all the information you yes. were given. Yep. And um, I'll personally see you soon. Mm -hmm. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you.